show me she I kissed the other day. Hi, I'm Gerard Martin. Today I'm going to be talking about one of my favorite saints, Saint Gerard Magella. Saint Gerard Magella was born on the 6th of April, 1726, in southern Italy. Saint Gerard Magella's parents were Domenico and Bernadetta. Saint Gerard Magella was baptized on the day of his birth because he was frail from birth. At the age of 12, Saint Gerard Magella's father passed away. And he worked at the local tailor and later became a valet for the bishop of Lacedonia. As Saint Gerard Magella grew up, he spent a lot of time in prayer and, love, and developed a love for God. Even though Saint Gerard Magella was weak and even though Saint Gerard Magella was frail, Saint Gerard Magella was charming. Had a great sense of fun and loved to play practical jokes. Do you want to know how Saint Gerard Magella entered the Redemptorist congregation? In 1749, the Redemptorists came to southern Italy to give a mission, which was to preach the gospel. Saint Gerard Magella was at the age of 23 at that time. Saint Gerard Magella went to talk to the superior of the mission, Father Caffaro, and begged to him to be accepted into the congregation. But because Saint Gerard Magella had bad health and no formal education, Saint Gerard Magella was not accepted into the congregation. The day the Redemptorists were leaving town, Saint Gerard Magella's mother locked him up in his bedroom so he couldn't escape. But Saint Gerard Magella made a rope out of his clothes and escaped. Twelve miles later, he caught up with the missionaries and knelt before. Father Caffaro and begged to him to be accepted into the congregation. Soon, Father Caffaro gave in and let Saint Gerard Magella go to the community as a lay brother, with a letter saying, "I am sending you a useless brother." When Saint Gerard Magella joined the congregation, he made three vows: of poverty, chastity, and obedience. Saint Gerard Magella. Was blessed with many powers, such as levitation, bilocation, and the power to read souls. During Saint Gerard Magella's life, he did many miracles, such as restoring a boy's life after he fell from a high cliff, blessing a farmer's crops by getting rid of mice, and multiplying the bread for the poor on several occasions. Shortly before Saint Gerard Magella's death, he dropped his handkerchief on the ground. A small girl found it and picked it up to return it to Saint Gerard Magella. But Saint Gerard Magella told the little girl to keep it, and she might need it one day. After Saint Gerard Magella's death, the little girl grew up. He got married and was about to have a baby, but she went early in labor. He was about to lose her baby, but she asked for Saint Gerard Magella's handkerchief, put it on herself, and was proceeding to get a healthy baby. That's why we know Saint Gerard Magella as the patron saint of mothers and baby. Saint Gerard Magella died at the age of 29 years in 1755 because of TB, and his feast day is October 16th. Saint Gerard Magella was canonized in 1904 December. By Pope Pius the Tenth, Saint Gerard Magella's greatest virtue was to trust in God, and Saint Gerard Magella's favorite slogan was "God will provide." In poor health and in death bed, Saint Gerard Magella's trust in God did not waver one bit. That is a great lesson I learned from Saint Gerard Magella.